my name is Maurice Washington. I want to welcome everybody to another episode of Executive Talk. Those that are here live in our studio audience and also those that are viewing live. In today's show, we're going to talk about the value within perseverance. Now, everybody knows what perseverance means. Everybody has, seen, has heard it before. Everybody's looked it up. You have some concept of what perseverance is. I think the key component here today is to talk about the value within. The within part is the, the, per, the most impactful part that perseverance really needs and really needs to, needs to understand. So in order to put a concept around this, I, what I want to do is I want to start this show off with a video. And I'm sure you guys have seen this video before and it's Rocky Balboa, his inspirational speech to his son. But let's go ahead and listen, listen to this real quick. fit right here I'd hold you up to say to your mother this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world this kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew and you grew up good and wonderful it was great just watching every day was like a privilege did the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world and you did but somewhere along the line you changed you stopped being you you let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good and when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always going to love you no matter what, no matter what happens. You're my son, you're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you're going to have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. Now, how, how many people can resonate with, with the sun? You have those moments within your business that you're just upset. You cannot handle what's happening to you today. And that's the first thing that we do is we go straight to, we go to this soapbox and just really whine about it and we get really upset. And so that's the, that's the thing about perseverance. It's not the fact that you don't know what the word, but sometimes within the, the journey of your business, you lose sight as to what you're doing. And so the way that I want to explain perseverance is by using the concept of the, tunnel, the light in the tunnel. Has, every, has everybody heard that before? Absolutely. Okay, the light is at the end of the tunnel. So let's talk about the light. The light is important. It's extremely significant. The light represents your vision, the dreams and values and everything that you have. Everything that you have within you is in this light. It's the pinnacle of your existence. It's where you want to be. It's what you intended and you can see yourself in this, in this place. In this light is unlimited potential. There's, there's no boundaries in this light. The, the light represents the best part of you. And I'm sure everybody here can attest to the, everybody has had a snippet of the light. And what that means is you've had your days when it was rough, but you had your days when you're just absolutely in the moment and you're actually experiencing a little bit of a taste of that, what that light feels like. And those are some glorious, wonderful days. Why is it so hard to accept this light is since it's so natural. That's the part that really doesn't make sense. And I think a lot of us kind of beat ourselves up over it is I, I know the light. I dreamt about it. I can feel it. I can reach out and grab it. But why is it so hard to, to get there? The reason why it's so hard to get there is that your heart and soul actually recognizes the light. 
It's, it's coming from your heart and soul. This is who you actually, your heart and soul really identifies with. But your eyes at this particular stage, they don't accept it. And what do I mean by your eyes? They don't accept it. Because your eyes, what they do is your eyes will look at your bank account and say, I'm not, I'm not anywhere close to that light. It doesn't make sense to me. Your eyes will tell you, you know what? I'm not doing very good today. It will look at your, at your circumstances today and create a reality and will shut that light off. Now, your heart and soul understands the unlimited potential because that's where exactly where it comes from. Now, why is, it, why is it that you have a hard time explaining your vision? Have you ever tried to explain your vision based on what you see, not from a place of your heart and soul, but just based on what you see in your reality? What that explanation looks like, it looks like this. Well, you know, I'm growing a company. I have a small company. It's just me. And, you know, down the road, hope to grow it and get to a good tangible size. That's what that explanation actually looks like um, when you're not totally sold out on, your, on that light. So what happens is when you ex experience that and you promote, pr promote it that way, you immediately experience backlash because of this light. And the backlash looks like this. How can you even think that you're gonna get a company that big and you can barely keep your appointment straight? That's the type of backlash that you get. And you know what? You know what, based on your reality and based on who you are today, they're absolutely correct. And so what happens to that light? It actually gets even dimmer. It looks further and fur further and further away. At that point, you have a hard time believing that this light truly exists. There becomes a huge problem. Now, what does your journey look like to the light? It's not like your journey is just going to be easy just because you you can visualize it and you're, you're excited about it and you dreamt about it. What does your journey include? Your journey includes people that have already tainted in your industry. If you're a financial planner, there's a lot of financial planners that have met the potential clients that you're going to run into that have did some things that, that mess up your opportunities to work with them. And so they're already tainted about what you do. So that's part of your battle. That's part of your perseverance battle. Some of your clients have already given up on hope before you even had an opportunity to meet with them. Some of your clients are becoming more and more independent. As you guys can attest to, just maybe in your daily lives right now, you're becoming more and more independent where you don't want to use anybody else's services. I'll figure it out, and that's some of the challenges and things that you run up against. Now, before you, and now here's the, here's the true concept. Before you change the culture within the industry, because I know what, when, what I mean by changing the culture. You know, for a lot of you, what you feel like is, you know what, I want to come into this industry and bring customer service back into full play. I want to come in this industry and make people happy again about, financial, about their finances. That is an awesome, heartfelt mindset, but you're going to have to go through some things before you even get there. So before you change the culture of anything, you must be a representation of that change first and foremost. And that's part of the perseverance and that's part of the journey. Now, what should you understand? You started your business because of this light. Now, let me help you get a concept. When you first had this light, what you did is you went to, your co you went to a potential company that actually fits that light. You say, you know what, maybe this company will understand what I see in this industry, and maybe we can have a merger in that in a great relationship based on that principle. So the company presents to you a potential light. You present to you the, your light. And guess what? You guys say, you know what, our lights fit. Let's go ahead and work together. Now, down the road, maybe two or three years down the road, you start to find out maybe their light, their course, their course in their light is very different than what we originally discussed. And so what do you do? Because you're starting to see that, you make a choice to actually go back into the workforce and actually you make a choice to open up your own, your own business based on your own light. Now without the light, you're typically operating from willpower. Everybody knows what willpower is, don't they? Willpower is that time, and just as a quick example, when you say, you know, I'm gonna stay away from desserts for the next three weeks. And what happens uh, by the fifth day? On that fifth day, what do you do? Take a little nibble of a brownie, 
And then on the sixth day, what do you do? You just eat the whole brownie because there's no point in just having a nibbled brownie sitting on the counter waiting for you. That doesn't make sense. You have to just go ahead and eat the whole thing. And next thing you know, that three weeks turns into six days. And who's going to blame you? Hey, you know, oh, well, I'll try again another time. That's what willpower looks like. The light provides a reason for perseverance. So in retrospect, in order for persever perseverance to actually kick in, it needs a reason. It needs a light to actually point towards so it can start doing the activity and the work that's necessary for you to accept that light. What does the tunnel represent? The first thing that we need to do is we need to understand what the tunnel is. We understand what the light is now. That's the pinnacle of your existence and that's the pinnacle of your business. But what does the tunnel represent? Why is the tunnel in the light there? Why are they connected? The tunnel represents the perseverance. And we have to understand that the tunnel can be a long tunnel. It's kind of like going on a train. You don't know when that's going to happen, when it's going to end. You just know that you're in the tunnel. You're, you can't wait to see the light because this thing is a long, dark place. But it represents perseverance. Perseverance in this tunnel actually is a purposeful shelter so you can handle the responsibilities of the light. It's a purposeful shelter so you can handle the responsibilities of the light. You have to have this tunnel. Because right now, if the light was presented to you, you wouldn't know what to do. You would go crazy. You'd be excited and scared all in the same, bre same breath, and more than likely, you'll point towards scared. Perseverance will provide you the truth about yourself. Just in the example that we saw in this video earlier, what did we see? We saw this guy and we saw the son whining, upset, and blaming everybody else. So what's the truth? Where is the truth? It's not the situation. It's him. He needs, some, he needs to actually strengthen up his spirit. Something is going on. But perseverance will do that for you. It will give you the opportunity to really get an introduction as to who you are. The light requires some strength within you that, you're not, that you don't currently have. That's why you're going through these tests. And that's what the tunnel represents. It represents not only perseverance, but it represents test. Can you handle this? Okay, well, can you handle this, this, and this? And all those little tests are built and specific to your strengthening that you need in order to go forward and get closer to the light and handle it. And only perseverance can build the proper strength. The truth of the matter is, think about willpower all again. Have you ever got to your physical goal within, I don't know, maybe about three months? And the next thing you do is, you know what, I can take a break from working out for about two weeks. It won't matter. I've already reached my goal. And the next thing you know, you're eating cake and you're doing everything outside the box. And then what do you do when you try to get back to the gym? You can't breathe because you're out of shape all of a sudden all over again. That's what willpower actually does versus perseverance. It gives you get the proper strength. Now, per, the, per, the perseverance trail. Perseverance attaches itself with all your value systems that you have within. It automatically kicks in. As soon as you accept perseverance and what it's going to take, it attaches itself to everything. And here's the trail, and here's how it starts. It starts with acceptance. And that acceptance is not a big, glorious, I accept what I'm about to do in this light. That's not, that's not what it, you start off with. The acceptance factor is, you know what? This has failed. This has failed. I might as well go ahead and try and see what this light really looks like. I have nothing else to lose but more time. So I might as well just go ahead. That's enough acceptance for a perseverance to say, okay, let's start this relationship. And what, will, what happens with this acceptance? It renews your heart. And what, what needs to be renewed in your heart? It needs to renew the fact that the old you is no longer acceptable. Once your heart becomes renewed, then your mind starts to become re renewed. Because your mind is like, huh, we're actually, we actually feel different about ourselves, huh, heart? Well, yes, we do. Okay, so what is this concept? And what the mind does specifically is creatively starts to put a pathway so you guys can get to, so you can get to that light. What does your business plan represent? It's a tangible representation of where you want to go. It's everything that's going on in your heart and mind, and it gives you the opportunity so you can actually see it, so you can start to believe it. The action. 
The action is where perseverance actually kicks in. And that's when you get really excited. And what, is the, what, are those action, what are those action items? When you start making, when you make your first call, when you go to that meeting, when you go to the networking event, when you start having one-to-ones and you're staying in that place, now perseverance is starting to kick in. It's starting to do its activity. It's starting to teach you lessons immediately. Your passion, now you can actually articulate what you're, what you're doing. Because now that you're in action and you're starting to see a response, a positive response, and maybe you're getting a couple of negative responses, but you're still able to go out there and present, you're starting to become stronger. So then your passion becomes, and then you start to articulate your business model in this way. You know, yes, I'm a small business owner right now. It's only me. But my, my resolution within my business is over the, ne- I w- over the next five years, I want to be the top five HVAC companies here in, located in Denver, Colorado. That's what you start to present. That means you're passionate about what you do. You're, you're in this full acceptance stage. And then the vision about who you are starts to change. You actually start to become the CEO of your company. What does that mean? There's, there's a difference between going to the state of Colorado and registering your business and becoming the CEO immediately. You didn't have to do any work except for pay, pay some money, type it in, get it approved, and then you're done. And all of a sudden, you're a CEO. That's what that step looks like when you have to register your business. But you don't start the CEO activity until you're actually in it. So you start to have this tunnel vision. Because nothing's going to get in my way. As soon as you're passionate, nothing will get in my way to get to this light. Now, it may take six months to get to this particular place, but guess what? This place, you start to develop a strength that you never had before. Before, when you're at this, at this acceptance stage, you saw everything as a problem. Everything is such a problem. I can't get through this. I, it's, it's a problem. It's going to take me two or three days to actually cry about it, call my friends about it, and get their approval, and then pick myself up and then keep moving. That's what life looks like at that particular stage. However, you're getting to the point where all your problems start to become challenges. And the thing about challenges, you just, you, you're, it, instead of taking days, you start getting, th- getting through things a lot quicker. Then your consistency starts to pick up, then your leadership starts to pick up. Now, what did we experience in that video before? We experienced, just because it's a father and son, it's very hard to take this away. But we have to take the whole father and son. But the reason why the son was able to listen to the father is not because of that relationship, but because the father has already set the trail that he persevered through a lot of bites. He persevered through light, through life. He started from nothing and then, and then mulled right through. He was able to talk about it in, in a way that nobody else can really tangibly get to. And then that's what, your needs, that's what perseverance will help you develop. How long is this tunnel? Now, I can be the first one to tell this truth. The tunnel seems like forever. You cannot wait to get out of the tunnel. Let's just be truthful about that. But this tunnel, the length of the tunnel, depends on how assertive you are with your perseverance lessons. You are going to have lessons within it. You're going to have specific challenges within clients. You're going to have challenges in your business that's going to see what you're going to do with it. Is this a challenge that you need to go through? Is this something that you need to eradicate and leave it alone? Or is this a lesson so you understand what that is next time it comes around? You have to be able to be assertive about that and understand what you're coming into. If you can't accept the light, you will find ways to stay in the tunnel. That is a very important statement. You have to get to the point where if you, if you know that you can't accept the light, you will find ways to just not go there. And a lot of people have put it under the framework of, you know, what? I just, I just try to get away from success. I'm not, I'm afraid of success. That's what the statement, that's the popular statement out there. The truth is, based on this conversation, you have a hard time accepting you. You have a hard time accepting you in that light, that you actually can be that person. That's what, that's what it is. So let's take the success out the way. Let's talk about you in that light. Can you accept that person that's over there that you dreamt about, that you're constantly daydreaming about? Can you accept that? That's the real question. Another question that you're going to have within this tunnel 
is are you going to compromise your values to get to the light quicker? If you know that it's going to take you a long time to get to this light, are you going to try to take a shortcut to get there faster? Again, the perseverance will put in the test as it will show you who you are. It will give you that truth. And there's a level of unstableness that happens. If you're able to compromise that quick, there, there's, there's something unstable. Because again, once you get to the light, you may get to that light quicker, but again, it will catch up with you at some point. And it's very dangerous. What does perseverance actually produce within? An emotional stability. That's just to get emotional stable about what you do and not to compromise anymore, as I uh, alluded to down here, that is, that's almost the touch of that light. That means that nobody can come over here and change your mind, question you, unfriend you or unlike you and they ha have you shatter your whole day. You're okay. You just keep on going through. It creates a lifelong barrier. Now, what is a lifelong barrier? That's that barrier that says, there's no way in heck I would like to go through that, that place again in that tunnel. So I'm going to do everything it takes to stay in this light in a positive way. Let's make sure I put an asterisk on that. In a positive way, I'm going to do everything I can to stay in this light. Okay, let's, let's take another concept. Would you go to Bill Gates and what if you asked him, do you want to go through that tunnel that you went through again to build the company that you, that you created? he would actually send you a bill for wasting his time and asking him that particular question. Because there's no way in the heck he would like to go through that tunnel all over again. The truth about this is that you'll, you, you know this. And once you go through this, and the reason why perseverance and why it's so long to get to the end of the tunnel is because you, value starts to be created at this point. And the value is, you'll, you'll start to understand, it took me 15, it took me 10 years to get to my light. But you'll actually understand the value within because that tunnel was some, there were some hard days within that tunnel. But you guys understand, I guarantee that you know it takes a minute to get back into that tunnel. It takes a couple of few mistakes and next thing you know you're back in that tunnel trying to swim out of there all over again. That's the value that, it, that this uh, perseverance provides. And again, like I said earlier, you won't compromise. You know, one thing I want you guys to take with you is perseverance is for you. It is something, it's a, it's a test. Nobody likes taking tests in school, okay? There's a pass or fail. Think about this part. Think about how good you are about being tested. This, this, this all it is, is a big test. And the pass or failing is how did you get through it? I want you guys to make no mistake about it. There are going to be people out there, there's going to be some clients out there that are going to challenge you and say, well, you should go ahead and persevere through this. You cannot persevere through chaos. If you're going to persevere, persevere actually attaches itself to positive things. If it's positive, then you're in perseverance. If it's negative, you're absolutely in willpower. And you don't need to persevere through things that are not working for you and that's going towards that path. You have to really discern that and make good, sound decisions based on that direction. So I want you guys to understand that whole concept and everything that we have in here. In order to actually follow up on this particular show, I want to make it available to everybody on our Facebook page under Executive Talk. Um, it will be all over LinkedIn. Follow us on Twitter, also Instagram, and also on YouTube. And make sure you um, look through any of the archive shows that we have in order to help to support you in your business and any questions that you may have. And always reach out to us. But in the meantime, we have to get back to work. Have a good day.